Hey everyone, as technology and culture kind of keep changing these days, like in a really rapid rate, my parents are always trying to keep up. So one of the really awesome things I found out about that is that because my parents weren't able to do certain things like learn music, for example, they kind of put that onto my brother and I when we were growing up. Like my mom, she really wanted to learn how to play piano when she was younger. But she's like, oh, I wasn't able to do that. So I kind of want my kids to have that a chance. Even though I think at the time I didn't really want to do it at all, but I got the opportunity to. So I just wanted to say thank you to all the parents out there and my parents specifically who give the opportunity to your children um, to try out new things and learn things when they're younger um, because it definitely is taken for granted these days. Anyway, I've been looking for an, a guitar amp, like an electric guitar amp for like the longest, longest time. And this has actually come up multiple times where my mom's brought up that she knows people who have like amps or like they're selling an amp or a guitar. And then I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I'll check it out. And then I think about it and like, wait, mom, like, can they send a picture of it and tell me what it is first? Because I really don't know anything about this, right? It's just kind of like uh, by her word of mouth. And it's not that I don't trust her, but sometimes because she doesn't know too much about uh, certain things like she specializes in her own thing. I was like, wait, mom, what is this, right? Um, it's just by your word of mouth. And so I got a hold of what it actually was and I was like, oh, that's pretty funny. So I decided to make a video about it because she knew I wanted an electric guitar amp for a long time and I've been trying to save up and find one. She's like, oh, I know a friend who has an electric guitar amp. And I was like, okay, great. I'll look into it. And then I was like, wait, I think she mentioned that friend before. And so way back, she brought up that that same friend like this was like two ish years ago that same friend was selling a guitar and when i looked into that it turned out to be a bass the funny thing is when i remember that i was like okay then i'm pretty sure when that guy bought that bass they bought a bass amp with it so i was like okay my mom has brought up twice she probably doesn't remember but i'm not gonna get angry about it she just doesn't know but i was like maybe she actually doesn't know the difference between electric guitar and an electric bass. So I was like, hmm, how do I explain this? And so I brought up an analogy from, well, no, this is actually what it is, not an analogy. What am I talking about? So, you know, in an orchestra, there are violins, there's violas, cellos, and what's that really big thing? It's a double bass, right? So my mom's like, oh, right, right, right. An electric bass is basically that, except shrunk down into the form of an electric guitar. And she's like, oh, that kind of makes sense, but what's the difference? Well, a guitar is like those things people strum, it's like a classical instrument, and it kind of makes the cling, cling, clang, clang sound. And then she's like, okay, what, the, what does the bass sound make? You know those really low, like, whoa, like those, um, what is it, what do you call them? Kind of like monks, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, if you guys have things that your parents don't understand, or they don't know about, well, they have a different education than you, and they come from a different generation. They, they might not have had the chance to learn all the things that you could. They didn't have the internet when they were kids. Computers were only very popular like when I was born really. Like I remember when we used to have those big box computers um, and then like even before that people like it's really rare to have a computer. If you, if you have a chance to explain things in a fun way to your parents, like go for it. You know, they're always trying to learn too and they don't always have the means to be caught up with today's generation the same way we do. They're not used to being able to just Google things. They know it exists but it's not the first thing they think of. They grew up going to libraries to look for stuff. Now I think about it, I did that too, so they probably did something else before that. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of key to be patient with your parents, to really understand that they're willing to learn too. We don't always think of it that way, we only think of it as they're trying to help but they're doing the wrong thing, or like they only nag us. Yeah, just be patient and be loving to your parents because because I guess they kind of just stuck it up for you too. Hope you guys um, will take something out of that. And I guess it's kind of late if this is a Father's Day or a Mother's Day message is like July. Anyway, I have a short music video coming up soon. I hope you guys will enjoy it, but for now, um, this is the video that I'll be posting. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, as always, I hope you have a great day.